I recently did a series of posts and a video to demonstrate that P320s don't blow up because they fire out a battery. In fact, the only reason that there's any case failures in P320s, just like any other pistol, is because of bad ammo. However, there's still a lot of people that aren't convinced. To prove these things don't fire out a battery and blow up, I shot this one 225 thousandths out of battery. All I got was empty brass. So to push back on this myth as far as I could, I went ahead and cut the locking shoulder off this barrel, set my test pistol up as a straight blowback, and fired it with a bunch of plus P+. Plus. And I still didn't get any case expansion worth noting. Nothing blew. Let me take just a moment to explain what I mean by straight blowback, since that's a term that I've used a number of times in our previous video debunking the P320 out of battery detonation myth, as well as this one. Notice in the case of the stock barrel in our test pistol here, the barrel travels with the slide for about 225 thousandths of an inch before it then starts to drop, such that it can actually pull the expanded cartridge case out of the chamber. On the other hand, notice that this barrel doesn't have a locking shoulder at all. That means that as soon as the slide starts to travel to the rear, it's pulling the case out of the chamber. There's nothing actually keeping the barrel and the slide together at all. And that's what we mean by straight blowback. Well, we've proven that the 320 won't fire dangerously out of battery such that it can blow cases. So there's folks that are saying, well, maybe it's because of a lack of chamber support. If P320s were blowing cases because of lack of case wall support, then you think the barrel on the left that I've modified and deepened to about 290 thousandths from the breech face to the point at which case wall support actually starts would give us some pretty spectacular results. That is an unsupported chamber if I've ever seen one. That first one was a round of S&B 124 ball. I wouldn't say anything looks particularly blown up there. Here's Blazer Brass in my unsupported chamber of straight blowback P320, the uh, Death Trap 3000. Let's give that a try. As you can see, there's no expansion or case damage at all, other than a little dent in the case mouth here, simply because the pistol isn't cycling correctly. You know, because it's a straight blowback and it's not really designed to be, it's not ejecting. Here's some Federal 150 Syntec. And as you see, nothing blown. Everything's fine. Last, but by no means least, 147 grain Spear G2. I'm not so much liking the amount of recoil this puts out with no locking system. Ouch. You know what? No bulging, no damage, nothing. That should say something. Out of a straight blowback P320 with no case head support. Remember kids, don't do this at home. So this leads to an obvious question. How can I get away with shooting this 9mm pistol with so much of the case wall support cut away in the chamber? Now this chamber is 290 thousandths deep from the breech face to the point at which case wall support begins. And that's uh, considerably deeper and with less case wall support than you'll find in just about any kind of service pistol. So why isn't it blowing cases? Well, the answer to that question is a little bit complex. It's got a few moving parts, but the Cliff Notes version comes down to the quality of the brass. Every cycle of firing and resizing of this case reduces its resistance to failure. Eventually, with enough cycles, it will fail. That doesn't mean that I'm not a fan of reloading, as I've said before. Actually, if I hadn't reloaded, I wouldn't have any kind of career at all. But the reality is that I've been successful because I don't work my brass to death. I don't use rando stuff that I pick up on the range that other people may have you know, loaded to the hilt and then discarded because they didn't want it anymore. Uh, these things are a pretty common cause of case failures in any kind of pistol, whether it be a P320 or any of the other service pistols that are commonly in use. Reality is, is that we have to be very careful about brass selection, and we also have to be very careful about loading. There are certain load combinations which can run you up against what would be considered the tolerance for a good case and certainly cause a bad case to fail, simply because powder measures don't always throw absolutely consistently. Some powders are a little spikier than others in terms of pressure curve. There are some bullets that obturate at different rates depending on what they're hit with. There's a lot of different moving parts to this. So, if you have any questions about what to load, uh, feel free to contact me directly and I can give you the benefit of what experience I have and I can point you in the right direction. But more than anything, run good brass and your problem is solved. There is no issue with a P320 inherent to the pistol, the design or its manufacturer or quality of manufacturer for darn sure that causes them to blow cases. The only reason they do is because of a defective ammunition. You can solve that, but just make sure you don't run junk. Thanks.